the Queen's passing is drawing reactions right here in Tampa as well. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live for us in South Tampa tonight. He's at Mad Dogs and Englishmen. That's a pub there on McDill Avenue. And the owner actually grew up in the UK. So, Josh, how is he doing tonight? You know, Ali, simply put, he told me this is one of those days where you're going to remember exactly where you were and what you were doing when the news came down. He said losing the queen is like losing a motherly figure. The owner here, Wilton Morley, grew up in the U.K. In fact, he was born the year uh, the year the queen ascended uh, to the throne. And for many, many years, he, like many of our British friends, grew up with the monarchy as part of their everyday lives. He called this a very sad day. And while he thinks Prince Charles will do a do a fine job, as king, he says things just won't be the same without the queen. I think she was the sort of uh, unblemished figure, which is very rare. I mean, it, 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 nothing tarnished her image. She was absolutely selfless. She put herself in front of everybody. People are going to remember where they were today, exactly as people who lived through the Kennedy era would know where they were that day. I mean, it's, it's a kind of a landmark day for us. And Morley says people who stop by here uh, Saturday, they're going to be treated to a champagne toast in honor of the Queen. There's actually a really nice picture of her hanging over the bar right now. There's also a sign inside that they updated. It said, God save the Queen. It now reads, God save the King. Allie, back to you. I think he put it well there when he said that she was unblemished. And you think after serving like that for 70 years and everybody loved her. All right, Josh Cassio live for us tonight. Josh, thanks.